I'm so impressed by you guys. And I can't wait to do something with you up there too, because we're doing it, okay? I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're doing it. So great to see the steps you've made so far. We're gonna win here, we're gonna win a lot. It's gonna be a lot of fun, baby, okay? All right, catch your breath, we'll see you out there. In a game that tests mind, body, strength, and soul, these are the faces that want to be on top the next time the time runs out. This is Niagara University Hockey, and we are Uncommon. Uncommon describes the Niagara University Hockey Team. In a game that tests mind, body, strength, and soul, the challenges are immense and the commitment to excellence is paramount. That's a good spot! Last year, time ran out on the Purple Eagles as American International College put an end to the Purple Eagles season in the first round of the Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. Time ran out. The Niagara University Purple Eagles men's hockey team is heading into its 20th season at the Division I level. Sometimes we do fail in order to climb the ladder of success. There is no such thing as a bed of roses all the days of our life, but failure will never stand in the way of success if you can learn from it. A determined coach. Be selfless, compete, relentless in attacking, have a great attitude, looking for leaders. Keep going with your excellence. A determined group, a determined staff, look to be the only team standing when time runs out on this season. A team filled with new faces, a new energy, a new sense of excellence. Being selfless, competing every single night, having a positive attitude, being leaders and striving for excellence. The Purple Eagles begin another six month pursuit of college hockey's top prize, a national championship. The 2018-19 campaign is about overcoming failures to reach the mountaintop. This is our story about why we are uncommon. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired of it now, like four years here, and uh, they've always uh, underestimated us, and it just, uh, I don't know why. Has it, Evan been last place every year? I think, I think so, and I'm looking over here, and there's four uh, years where they've been the NCAA tournament, they've been ranked 13th in the country, so like, Niagara's the, the real deal, yeah. so I think we're going to get back to our ways. A new season has begun for the Purple Eagles. After coach Jason Lammer's first season with the team, which featured a great start, a rocky finish, and saw five seniors graduate, the Purple Eagles welcome 11 new members to the team. In the eyes of the world, a new roster means struggles, but not in the eyes of the Purple Eagles. Um, I think the main vision uh, is to prove people wrong. Um, obviously, the polls coming up um, definitely was a little bit of a, um, an eye-opener for us. I think everyone's vision is to uh, be first in the Atlantic Conference. And uh, I mean, we all, our dreams go to the tourney, so I think uh, we have a shot at doing that this year. Uh, I think the main vision for this whole team is uh, just to prove everyone wrong. Coach Lammers says that no one loves us but ourselves, so we were ranked 11th in the polls, so I think we need to take that to heart and uh, use that as motivation to be the best that we can be all year. We're not an arrogant team. We know we have our work cut out for us each and every night. This is college hockey, and you have to earn every point you get. But uh, with that being said, we take every game as uh, you know one step. We don't care who we're playing. We're going to work each team out of the rink, and um, you know teams are going to learn real fast to dread the games where they have to play Niagara. In this year's Atlantic Hockey preseason poll, defending champion Air Force was picked to three-peat. The school south of the bridge was picked to finish second, and Niagara, 11th. Head coach Jason Lammers has full faith that his team will perform much greater 
than many ever expected for this year. So the preseason is, is uh, the beautiful thing is we'll see at the end of the year where it all shakes out. And, and it's not how you start, it's how you finish. We learned that lesson last year. Uh, we're looking forward to proving a lot of people wrong and we appreciate the opportunity that everybody's given us to do that. Jason Lammers came to Niagara after a stint in the United States Hockey League with the Dubuque Fighting Saints and led the Purple Eagles to a top 20 ranking in his first season before second half struggles led the squad to a ninth place finish in the conference with an 11-22-3 record. First year in any place, last year I would, I would describe it as just trying to tre tread water. We were, as, as a family, uh, as a staff, personally running around trying to figure things out uh, barely I felt like floaties like I had to have floaties on to keep above water now in our second year for our family we're more comfortable we know more families in the community uh, my wife's more established I'm more established it's been wonderful for our staff this is the first summer we've spent together so we really got the chance to grow to develop, to learn each other more, to spend more time together. That's been exciting. We got to spend more time with the guys. So we, it feels much more like a family this year. And we're real excited about that. I, I, I'm looking forward to watching how that plays out for the rest of our time here. Who's what? Who's what? Who's what? <laughs> Milzy, you're the last guy back. What are you? Plus one, then don't go to blue. Among the new faces is true freshman Dylan Mills. Mills comes from Cottage Groves, Minnesota, and is the younger brother of sophomore Zach Mills. We'll like answer, not at the same time, but like <laughs> yeah, we'll, answer we'll, the questions together. Yeah, we'll just build off each other. Over many years, this pair has played on the same team twice, but never could have imagined an opportunity to play college hockey together. This year marks the third time the brothers will be playing together on the same team. Well, it started when we were younger. We'd, we'd be out in the driveway shooting pucks, and we're like, wow, it'd be so cool to play together. But uh, we had three years in between us, so it was kind of unlikely. And then I uh, came to my senior year of high school, he was a freshman, and uh, we finally got a chance to play together, and we're like, wow, this is so cool. And then that year ended, I went out to juniors, he stayed at high school, and we're like, all right, that's it. And then uh, the following year, we got drafted to the same uh, junior team, got to play together again, and at the end of that year, we're like, ah, that's it. <laughs> like, this has been cool, like two years, two teams together, like nothing better. And I went off to college and my Amherst and Andy came up to me and they're like, what do you think on your brother coming here? I was like, it's a dream come true. Like, nothing gets better than that. Just envisioning that when we were younger and finally get to live in that out. Like, so cool and our parents are fired up. We get to come to one spot instead of going to two different places. Okay, one of the things that's really important to us here at Niagara University is buddies and brothers. And this year we have the opportunity to coach the Mills brothers. Just such a wonderful family. Uh, they've been through a lot through, through high school and, and it's really exciting to see them here and see both their smiles. They really play off each other. Uh, they're really very tight as brothers. At the same time, it's fun to watch them compete on the ice when they agree or when they don't agree. And uh, just a real credit to their family how well behaved they are, how, how wonderful they are as people, what great students they are, and, and what great players they're gonna be for us. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a dream come true. We, uh, like you said, we were, were in the garage playing a little street hockey, and we always said, oh, like my goal is to play college hockey, and we just competed against each other and grew off of each other, learned a lot, and uh, now it's awesome that it's coming together. Um, we were lucky enough to play in high school and then juniors and now college. It's, un it's unbelievable, but I'm really excited for this year. Amidst the preparations to begin this season, Niagara Hockey was grateful to host Hockey Hall of Fame coach Scotty Bowman. Bowman is now 85 years old. 
He has had his name written on Lord Stanley's Cup 14 times, either as a coach or senior member of Montreal, Pittsburgh, Detroit, and Chicago. Before the benefit dinner, Bowman took the time to speak privately for over 30 minutes with the team and to answer their questions. The team listened as one of the most famous figures in hockey history stood before them. You know, the, the attitude is so important because let's say you, you go to make a team or let's say you go get interview for a job and I've found out from trying to judge a lot of people there's so many that are right dead even and somebody has to make the call. So you're interviewing for a job, you're trying out for a sports team and there's a coach or staff that has to decide and I've seen it happen so many times it's down to a dead even and then the person in charge if he's doing the right thing he's saying his attitude is better. At dinner Coach Lammers took the time to thank Bowman for his attendance and he invited senior captain Nick Farmer to present Bowman with gifts from the university in appreciation of Bowman's attending and speaking at our benefit dinner. Which I'm going to go first here. We heard that you might need some new golf gear. <laughs> so we have, uh, we have some golf material here behind you that we would like you to take with you so that you can match uh, uh, the Gorski family on the golf course. So, and I'm going to let our captain Nick talk to you here for a second too. Thank you. Uh, just on behalf of the whole team and the organization, we would like to present Mr. Bowman with this honorary signed hockey puck. Uh, we thank him for being here tonight, and we look forward to hearing him share all his stories tonight. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. On Saturday, Niagara opened the year with an exhibition game versus York University out of Toronto, Canada. Today, everybody suited up and played, including the goaltenders. Brian Wilson tended the net in the first period, Joe O'Brien in the second, and Cole Weaver for the third period. The first period offered a back and forth pace as both teams settled in. Slip. Good job. Way to attack the net inside the dots. Good job. Out of way. Out of way. Good effort. Out of way, Eric. Out of way, Eric. York took the lead on the first goal of the game, but soon after, sophomore Eric Cooley followed with a breakaway goal to tie the game at one. Nice, nice. That's the problem. That's the problem. Get down! Bottom, Johnny!
question for us. But like, like he, to me, he should have that. He should be right into that guy's stick. At the break, Coach Lammers liked certain things out of the group, but would have liked to have seen more talking out of the guys. That was the message that he delivered in his intermission comments to the group. Okay, guys, a uh, couple things for you. First one, just in the ISO, what's what are they doing to you defensively? I, I don't, I have a tough time why that's hard for us, but like it's it's okay, right? If, if they talk, I'm not gonna lose my mind on it, but it would really help you out. Okay, hey, let's go have another great period. Some guys are out, some guys are in. Opportunity for a lot of guys here. Play. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Heading into the second period, the Purple Eagles look to crawl back into the game with timely goals. Everything you got, 40 seconds, everything you got, 40 seconds, next guy. Nice play, nice play, nice play. Nice play. Awesome, awesome. Only three minutes and 28 seconds into the period, they cut the lead to one, with senior captain Nick Farmer scoring on the rush. The goal gave a jolt of energy. Unfortunately, not for long, as York took a two-goal lead late in the frame. There we go. Good job. Good job. Oh, yeah, At the break, Coach Lammers wanted to make sure the guys knew he liked their energy, but felt they needed more shots on goal to help themselves climb back into the game. Liked a lot of stuff there, guys. Thought we played way less D-zone. Thought we had a lot more pace. All right. Uh, the one thing I would suggest a little more, I think we can probably shoot the puck a little more. The goalies gave us that presentation on wee shots and slings from the net. Really good. I thought there was a lot more communication that period. All right. And I love, I love some of the passes that we were making. Okay. All right. The challenge in these games now that is we, we're playing to win. There's a, it, it gets weird now in these situations. A lot to like. Let's see what we're going to do here now, right? Every game we're not going to be ahead by 10 goals. It's not going to be 10 one us going into the third. So now we've got a good challenge ahead of us. We've got to figure out a way to get one and then two and then get a, the winner here. Okay? All right, let's go. <laughs> The third frame would not result in a better ending as York scored again, making it 5 2. 10 minutes, three goals, let's go. Coach Lammers kept motivating the guys, and their intensity remained. Job, way to battle, 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 way to battle. Perfect. Thank okay. you. All the best. Yeah. On days like today, a young team learns valuable lessons before starting a long season. In his post game comments to the team, coach wanted to make sure that the guys regrouped and refocused for the opening weekend of the season. American International College comes to town for the first week of Atlantic hockey play. Okay guys, one of the things we do here after game is, is we talk about it, we evaluate it together. Okay, so from a lot of years of experience, uh, we've worked with the guys to 
come up with this list of five things that matter to our game to help us have success. We're not happy. Everybody's got a long face here, right? So let's, let's get better then. Let's not sit around and be, feel sorry sack for ourselves because next Friday we get to play for real and get a real chance. All right, so quit feeling sorry for yourself and figure out a way to get better so we're, we don't have this feeling again next Friday or Saturday. Okay, this is why we scheduled this game. Give everybody a chance. We played guys that now we've got some, not everybody's going to play next week. How are you going to show up to practice? What I'm, what I'm really excited about is to see the first year guys that it's, it's harder, right? It's faster. And so we're excited to see you now when it really matters here on, on Friday and Saturday. We're not going to be perfect, guys, but it's what we told your parents and what we talked about today, right? E plus R equals O. How are we going to respond to this now? Right? I want you to get out of here. I want you to forget about hockey Sunday, Monday. I want to encourage you on Sunday, Monday to do some active rest. What do I mean by that? Go hike the gorge. If you're going home, ride the bike a little bit. Don't just be stiff Sunday, Monday. Okay? Then we come back Tuesday. We'll leave this up. Let's, let's get to work. Right? But there's, like we said today, there's nowhere we'd rather be than with you guys. Right? And, and we are going to love longer than everybody else does. Right? So you get your shoulders back, your head up. You take care of yourself here now tonight and, and enjoy your families and, and uh, whatever you do on Sunday, Monday. Cool? All right, guys, see you Tuesday.